Hi, my name is Dave Whitesley. I'm Technical Director of Invisage UK Limited. And uh, I'd like to share with you some uh, a program I'm writing for Inventor 2017 for automating stud bolts. Um, it's a requirement that we've been asked for quite a lot. It seems to be on the forums quite a lot, um, people asking for this functionality. I started to write it, and what I'd like you to do is to feed back to me how you would like to see this running. Um, anybody who gives me some good feedback, I will supply the software to free of charge when it's written. Um, so the idea is that uh, here we are in Inventor, I've got uh, a set of flanges and we'll just run the uh, macro. Um, this is all in VBA at the moment. Um, just to test it, this will be written in the Inventor API uh, next. Um, we're going to put the protrusion distance in. It might be that we want to put the stud length in, but uh, I have had feedback from customers that um, they would like to put a protrusion distance in as well, a minimum protrusion distance. You click on OK on that. This will go ahead and um, allow me to select um, a hole reference to get the size of the uh, hole, obviously then to select a relevant stud bolt. The opposite face. It will then go ahead and populate the flange uh, with the stud bolts. Um, in this case, I've added washers and nuts, and obviously in certain instances, you just, just want to add nuts. This would all be on a selection dialog. Um, it's selected every hole of the same size on the face. It doesn't have to be a pattern. And as you can see, we've got the stud bolts there. Now, these are sub-assemblies. Um, the sub-assemblies are uh, phantom assemblies, so that it comes up in the bill of materials correctly. Um, the stud itself is um, an eye part, and this eye part uh, um, has just got the uh, lengths in. Um, it's uh, the, the, the stud itself. Um, I haven't added a chamfer or anything because on studs the tope, the length of the thread, is the uh, length that's actually uh, designated, uh, and the the chamfer is ignored. Um, so really, it's down to you to uh, ask me uh, some questions. How would you like this to go on? I'm thinking of possibly putting a folder in the styles library with these studs in, and then have an imperial and a metric folder, and then in each there would be a stud of a particular thread size with the varying lengths as an eye part, and then the nuts and the washers will be coming from the content center because I actually use the um, parameters inside the nut and the washer to get the height of the component so that we can actually calculate the, um, the extension distance, the protrusion distance on the stud. So perhaps put it in a folder somewhere um, on the stars library so that everybody can access it. Um, these are single components at the moment. Do we have this as an eye assembly or an assembly? Um, no, come back to me and tell me what you think. So um, you, can get, uh, you can contact me uh, on this email address um, this will be on YouTube shortly, so um, please um, send a message on YouTube. And uh, thank you very much. Um, I'll try and get this written as quick as possible. Obviously, anybody who gives me any good ideas or feedback, I will uh, um, supply you with the software as well. So uh, thank you.